This is how I'm going to wash it. Hello everybody and welcome to Miranda Detailing where we make satisfying detailing videos. In today's video, it's another weekend wash, but we're not washing the Avalon today. We're going to wash up the old beast. It needs it. The Avalon needs it too, but this one needs it more. You'll see why. So guys, here's the old Expedition. She's an old girl and we put a lot of money into her, so we're trying to keep her for as long as possible. But yeah pretty gross now i plasti dipped these wheels ooh probably about four or five years ago probably five years ago now and uh, as you can see i really didn't do much to them at all they're just baked right on there but you can see it has some rust i know look oh it's locked i'm not going to worry about that right now but it's got rust really rusted but that's okay, we're gonna keep it going. The paint isn't really in great shape anyway. This used to be chrome, I plasti dip this. Probably this summer I might redo the grill. The whole bumper section here I'll, I'll plasti dip. Maybe, maybe get new headlights. But you can see, I might do my own paint job on this because this was repainted at some point in its life. The plastics are pretty bad. And at some point I'll plasti dip those. yeah pretty dirty and you know with the old truck I'm not worried about washing it meticulously so probably gonna get some flack for this but this is how I'm going to wash it with this I know I know all of you are cringing right now and saying no and you're gonna write some comments about it but look guys this is an old truck I'm going to wash it with this, with one bucket, I'll maybe use a different brush for the wheels, and just whip around the truck and clean it just to clean it. I'm not worried about my old truck in the least. It's old, it's on its way out, not sure if it'll give me another year or two, so it just needs to be cleaned up. So that's what we're going to do. Now my trailer on the other hand, also needs to be washed, but I may have to save that for another time. So guys, let's get that washed up. I'll basically just do a little time lapse on it because it's not critical, um, but I am going to use some of the new super clean uh, products like the aerosol and maybe the foaming cleaner on the wheels and I have another product that I'd like to try out. So let's get started. All right, guys, first thing, let's hit the tires. that I 
is soaked up with car soap, just citrus uh, washing gloss. So let's just give these a little scrub. Doesn't it look nice? All right, let's give her a rinse. So we'll let that, we'll pretty much let that dry, like it usually does. And the plastic coat, or the plastic dip is, you know, chipping on here anyway. So I'll most likely redo this soon. But these are, these are new tires. I think these, these tires are actually only maybe four months old. So they clean up really, really nice. All right, let's go on to the next one. All right, guys, so we're gonna use the all-wheel cleaner on the wheels, use the same foaming on the tires. But check this out, guys. I've been seeing a lot of reviews on this. So this is the Plasti Dip, or the Plasti Coat wheel cleaner. Now, when you go to AutoZone or any of those places, they're all gonna say triple cleaning foam but you need to look for this, a black and plasti coat. This has the iron remover in it. So, instead of, instead of using the all-wheel cleaner, let's use this on this, because it's plasti coated. Let's see how much of the iron particles it actually removes. So, why don't I spray this first? I like that it comes out in a fine mist. Very easy to control. You can you can smell the iron chemical in it. Hmm. But they all stink, but not as bad as I thought. Now you can see it dissolving. You can see it turning purple a little bit. It's hard to tell in the black wheels, but you can see, there it is, see? You can see right there, turning purple. Yep, turning purple. Really turning purple. Okay, now you can really see it. So that's good. It means it's working. So let's that let's let that sit. Let's spray this. I gotta say, this is really fun to use. The aerosol is just easy. There we go. Look at that. That's nice. Now, just out of curiosity, I'm going to spray it right here. I didn't rinse it, didn't wash it, do anything. It's still dirty. Let's just see what it does. Barely turning purple. I can see a little bit of it. Yep, there you go. You can see it now. It's starting to react to particles. I'm not going to let that dry. Now watch, guys. Not how you wash a vehicle properly. I know. This is my work truck. Don't freak out. Now, back to the wheel. Yeah, you can really see that. That's, that's really nice. It just pulled all of that wheel uh, brake dust right off the wheel. Wow, really good job. Okay, let's scrub these down a little bit.
guys. So here it's it's dried up, and you know there's still some stuff on there. Oh, not too bad though. It's just build up on the plasti dip. I do not clean these wheels like I should. But now the tire. All right, that's not too bad. It's just dry. That's all. Out of curiosity. Let's see if we can pull any more dirt and grime off. Still pretty white foam. It's a little bit of dirt, a little bit of grime it's pulling. Down here a little bit more. Yeah, okay, there's some more. Now granted I didn't use a super stiff bristle cleaning brush for the wheels. These bristles are pretty pretty soft. But the cleaner alone does a good job. Alright. Yeah, it pulled off some more grime. So let's rinse. See when that dries up a little bit, see what it looks like. So let's get to washing the rest of this beast. spray wax just to make it easier to dry. just on the back paint here. Full sun. Let's see what it does. Wow, this stuff is pretty awesome. It's not as strong smelling as some. But you can spray this on the paint and it will find and dissolve iron particles. Pretty awesome. Yeah, it does a really good job. I'm impressed. Yeah, look at them all. Really starting to seek and destroy all the little iron particles. Alright guys, so we're done with washing the truck. I know, oh my goodness. I know, I washed it in a horrible way. 
but it's my work truck. I don't care. So this is not a tutorial on how to wash your vehicle that is nice. This is just my work truck. It's an old work truck. It maybe has a few years left in it. I'm just washing it. That's all. So the wheels, the tires, you know, I even went overboard cleaning those. I usually don't use all the products like this. I'll just spray it down with a little bit of super clean, brush them, rinse them. That's it. Maybe slap on some, uh, you know, water-based tire shine on the tires just to make it look better. But at this point, I'm not too worried about it. Um, really, even from a distance, it looks great. So again, not a huge deal. Um, probably going to get a lot of comments about this guy shouldn't even be making videos if he's washing his vehicle that way. Really? Who cares? Stop the negativity. This is not the place for it. Who cares? Just washing my truck. That's all. However, what I do want to talk about is the products. So I used their super clean um, aerosol. This stuff is awesome. I like the control of it. Um, I mean, the cleaning action is the same as all the other super clean products. It's, it's not the cleaning action uh, that I'm happy about because I'm happy with super clean anyway. What I like is the control of the aerosol. Um, the, the fact that you can spray it onto the tire and to the wheel and see exactly where the product is going, that's nice. And surprisingly, I maybe used about a third of this and I've already used it on three vehicles. So, you know, probably if you're just using this one, you know, go around on the tire and you're scrubbing it, um, maybe even twice, if you do it twice, you can probably get about four vehicles out of this. Um, granted, if you're not dealing with gigantic truck tires, uh, that maybe need a lot of this, but I don't know, maybe four to five vehicles out of this dependent, um, but really pretty good value on that. And I just like the control of it. Now the foaming cleaner, again, the cleaning action is, is excellent, but I'm just not a big fan of the foaming trigger. I like the foam cannon, <laughs> but it's, it's just different. Um, I've noticed on the carpets that if, if you do use this on carpets, it kind of leaves them a, a little blotchy because it's just like little foam blotches uh, of product and it's cleaning that little area. Even though you, you try to scrub everything evenly, um, I don't know, I, I don't feel that the foaming thing is completely necessary with this. You can probably just put super clean in like an IK foamer and probably get better results. Maybe it's just the trigger, it's just that. I just don't like the foaming trigger. But the product itself is great. It, it cleans amazingly. Uh, wheel cleaner, same thing. I think it's just a stronger mixture. Um, but it is not like the iron remover type of wheel cleaner. But it is very, very strong. So it does clean very well. Uh, again, I think this is the foaming trigger also. Yeah, not a fan of the foaming trigger. I might just switch out the trigger on it and use it with a different trigger because I like the even mist of some of the triggers. Now, this stuff, I think is gonna be one of my new favorite iron removers um, because it's so cheap. It's crazy how cheap it is. What is it, five, six dollars? I think I got this one at Walmart. Um, and again, if you go to AutoZone or any of your local automotive stores, uh, you, you can find it. But I was, I was a little confused because when I went in there, I just saw triple cleaning foam. There was like four bottles that said that, but at the top here, they all had different lettering, all different things. All wheel cleaner, chrome, aluminum, and then one said all wheel, and you're like, why not just use all wheel on all of them? So they all say triple foam cleaning, and it was just a little confusing. So you need to look for the one that says black and plasti coat. That's gonna be the iron remover one. Granted, I didn't try out the other ones. I didn't buy them to see if they also could have an iron remover in them. But I'm not going to buy all those products just to see if they do or not. I'm not going to waste money on that. I, I don't have money to waste on just buying products just to see. Um, however, because of the reviews that I saw on this, uh, many other guys were using it. I wanted to get this particular one to try it out. Got to say, it, it's pretty awesome. You know, as an iron remover on paints, it's great. On the wheels, it's great. It actually dissolved a lot of that gunk on those, you know, my plastic dip wheels on my truck. 
but you can use it on anything. So you can use it on paint, you can use it on any wheels. Um, and again, I know, every scent on this stuff is subjective. Some people like it, some are, no, they don't like it, but some people say it's not that strong. Um, some are like, oh, it's not as bad as Iron X or not as bad as the other ones that are out there. They all kind of stink. I gotta say though, this one does not stink as much. Maybe because the content of that iron mover is a little bit lower. I don't know, maybe. But I gotta say, try the stuff out. Find it locally if you can. I'm gonna try to find links on either eBay or Amazon. I, I couldn't find it before, but maybe as it gets more popular, um, then maybe you'll be able to find it on Amazon or eBay. So we'll see. But definitely check that out. That can be, you know, a awesome um, iron remover alternative. Instead of using expensive products, look guys, I'm always for trying to find cheaper products uh, that, that work just as well. Not necessarily super cheap products and not really caring at all, um, but you know, there are some products that I will spend a little bit of money on and then others that I don't deem it necessary to spend a lot of money on. Um, so, you know, when you're talking about ceramic coatings and things like that, the Gion products are pretty pricey. You know, they're Gion tar, they're Gion iron, they're, those are pricey products. Um, I probably won't ever buy like the iron remover products like that because they're just too expensive. These work just as well. So there's different alternatives uh, to those products. Um, even the, you know, Gion prep or all of the other prep products for coatings. Um, you know, I, I researched and, and talked to other guys saying that you can simply use like a wax and grease remover that's cheaper and works just as well. So I might do some testing on that and buy some of those, you know, like Duplicolor uh, or Rust-Oleum wax and grease removers because they're used for body shops and you would think if they if it's good enough for body shops where they are spraying base coat clear coat things that need to adhere and cure onto your uh panels of, of your vehicle then why wouldn't they be good enough for ceramic coatings so i understand the logic there you don't have to go out and buy the expensive you know like geon prep stuff up here that's probably when that's out i may not buy that um, I don't necessarily like the IPA mixtures because I do feel that they're a little dry and, and grabby and you can potentially mar the paint up a little bit. I, I just don't like that. So the wax and grease removers, I have used them in the past when I used to do uh, some minor body work and bumper painting and they do glide a little bit better. There, there's some other ingredients in there that aren't left behind. They, they flash off whatever the solvents are. Um, and they glide a little bit better and they don't leave that that marring or I hope they don't leave that that type of marring um, So I'll probably try those out uh, later on But if you guys have any comments or questions about Using one of those wax and grease removers before you use a coating a ceramic coating any ceramic coating um, Because it's true most of those preps like Gion prep and G Technic panel wipe and all the other ones are forms of alcohol with other things in there some some dye some scents i know I, I i think that is kind of crazy you don't need a, a dye in there just make it clear um so the wax and grease removers are super basic they're just made to strip anything that's on the surface leaving it nice and bare and clean so let me know have you guys used those rust-oleum or duplicolor wax and grease removers used it as a panel wipe before you used a ceramic coating i would love to hear your thoughts i'll try it later on and uh, you know see if the coating holds up or is there something some other ingredient that it's left over on the paint and it, it doesn't really jive well with ceramic coatings I don't know I haven't seen anybody actually do the test to, to see um, so let me know what you guys think about that um, the other, another product that I was using was the 303 spray wax now again this is just my old beast here um, when it rains which I I don't detail in the rain anyway, so I don't see the vehicle. I don't drive it in the rain much just because I'm not working in it. But every once in a while, you know, I'm caught in the rain uh, in you know, on a work day. And I do see this stuff beat up and it, and it protects really well. So I kind of use this as the maintenance uh, protection on my, my old expedition. Um, now this says it lasts up to 90 days. That's pretty impressive. I don't know if that is if you... 
apply it to a nice dry decontaminated vehicle. Mine is not decontaminated at all. I don't think I've ever clay barred it, ever. There's gonna be so many negative comments on that. But, uh, you know, we'll see. I don't really think it lasts 90 days on, on that old thing. Um, but if it lasts 90 days on, say, your maintenance washes on your nicer vehicles that, that you're working on, maybe customers' vehicles, um, that's pretty awesome. So we'll see. We'll see the results of this in maybe a month or two uh, or a couple of weeks, and, and uh, we'll see how it holds up. And, of course, I use citrus washing gloss for just washing. Just put it in the bucket, foamed it up, and uh, used it to wash the truck. So nothing special there. But using these products are, are great. The Super Clean, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with them. And again, thank you, Super Clean, for sending me those products to, to try out. Um, you can buy them locally. They're, they're inexpensive, but they simply work. That's what I like about those products. They work really well. They pull that grime and grease off. Um, they're awesome to use for carpets uh, and mats. They, they clean really, really well. And uh, yeah. Just a great value, great cleaner. A lot of detailers use them, and uh, I'm I've been pretty impressed with them. I've, I'm I'm very happy with those uh, with those products. So guys, I am super happy to announce that I finally got some AM detail products. I have been wanting to get my hands on these actually for like a few years now. Um, so Alan at AM Details, uh, he is in Scotland. Um, check out his channel. I, I'll have a link uh, to it down below. Uh, I've been following him for about two years now. And uh, he's got an awesome shop there. He makes these products. Uh, and I bought two of them. And uh, their clay was one that I am very, very curious about using. You can tell I, I haven't even used it yet. Uh, because I'm kind of waiting to use it. I'm going to use it on my own vehicle. Maybe the next uh, weekend wash, I'll do that. But it's a huge block. I think it's, I think it's 150. No, it's 200 grand. Um, and I think it was only, uh, I'm not remembering the price. Maybe I'll put it up on the screen. I thought it was 15 bucks, might be 20 bucks. But that's an awesome value for this clay. And uh, the beauty of this is you don't need a clay loop. You don't need a clay loop. It's just water you use this with. So, I don't know what sorcery that is, but it's pretty awesome. I'm uh, excited to try that out. And look at the packaging. Really nice packaging. And really nice case. That'll last me a long time. So you can put the clay bar in there. Locks up. Keeps it nice and clean. Now, this is the other product that I was excited about using. Is their trim. AM trim. Now, I saw them using this in their videos, and I, I reached out to Alan to ask him. Um, it says that uh, it goes onto your exterior plastics of your vehicle, and it will last up to six months. I'm like, six months? That's pretty awesome. Now, I don't know if that's like six months of dry weather. I don't know if it is, uh, you know, if it beads water, does it cure onto the plastics, all that stuff. But you can kind of see... It reminds me of Chemical Guy's Bare Bones. It's that type of a... Uh, eh, it doesn't really smell that great. It, there's a little bit of a scent to it, but it's like a silicone-y you know, type of... Um, maybe a solvent-based protectant. Um, so I haven't even used it yet. I know. I, I probably I showed it twice already in the videos, and I haven't even gotten a chance to use it because I want a good test subject. Now... My own vehicle will probably be, good, probably be a good test subject because I do have some plastics in the front of the grill, like the bottom of the grill, and the windshield cowl. It, it always gets kind of faded out. And I have some other products on there that I've tested. Um, and again, it's already starting to kind of fade out a little bit. So I'm excited to try this and put it on my own vehicle, see how long it lasts. There's different ways to apply it. Um, he likes to put it on, or Alan likes to put it on a brush. Um, and brush it into the plastics. But this, I'm sure there's different application modes. This is a you know a little pump spray, so you can probably pump it on to maybe hard to reach areas, and maybe use a brush to get in there. Uh, let it sit for a little bit, and then wipe it off. Um, so 
very excited to try this stuff out. Now, I got this from Chicago Auto Pros. Check out the link down below. Jason from Chicago Auto Pros just launched his uh, Car Guys Supply website. Again, all the links to this will be down below. So definitely check him out because he has a ton of products and he carries the AM Detail line, which is super exciting. Um, and I'll be ordering more stuff and hopefully testing out some more of these products. I will be most likely reserving some of these products for my weekend washes. Um, once I start getting some more of them, you'll probably be seeing them as I do other customers' vehicles um, because they have so many other different products that I want to try. But these are, these are the two main ones that I'm excited to, to use. Um, so hopefully you'll see those in upcoming videos. Thank you for joining me on uh, the weekend wash today as we washed up our old truck and, uh, and talked about some of these products as well and some new things uh, that may be coming to the channel as well. More reviews um, and maybe even some interviews with some other local businesses here. Uh, I've actually come in contact with another detailing business here in the area um, and I uh, might be able to get together with him and talk about some business tips. Now, I am not a business person. I, I don't claim to be an expert in any type of business strategies or anything like that. Even when it comes to advertising, you'd be surprised that I think in our area, doing certain things like Groupon years ago is what kind of put us on the map today. I know, Groupon's kind of changed over the years and it's not as good as it used to be, unfortunately. Um, I'll talk about that uh, in later videos and, and share some business tips uh, and ideas and how to start a mobile detailing business. I know a lot of you have asked about that. Uh, things like our pressure washer setup, our trailer setup, I'm, I'm still working on little bits uh, and pieces in the trailer. Um, but come spring when the weather gets nicer, I'll be doing a little bit more work and show you some updates on the trailer, some other things that I'm uh, doing currently and some plans for the future on the trailer. And uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later and kind of see what type of things I can add on to it. I uh, have a couple of ideas, but we'll see what happens. So guys, definitely check out our online store. We have our apparel on there. Uh, hoodies, a bunch of different t-shirts, um, kind of coming up with some cool retro car t-shirts that basically don't say anything. It's just the picture of, you know, just kind of interesting retro cars uh, on there. So definitely check that out. Um, but also check out the detailer cord snaps. So again, these were developed by Tony Ralda of Ralda's Mobile Detailing. I've been using them for the past few months now. These are the updated ones I've been using for about a month. And I gotta say, these are an awesome little tool. Now he makes these, these are handmade. And uh, they're, they're very simple, but they come in a pack of two. And with the Velcro, you wrap them around the cord very easily. And you can either clip them up here on your shirt or sweater or jacket so that the cord stays over your shoulder Oops. And you can also clip it onto your belt and have the cord going through the loop on your belt. I show that in other videos where I have the extension cord, the locking extension cord holder right there at my hip so that it's not dragging on the ground because you don't want that to be dragging on the ground, potentially getting stuck and the cord comes loose and all of that. that that's annoying. So this will keep it right on your belt and there's enough slack in here, you know, the hole is big enough so that the cord can go in and out as needed, um, but it keeps things organized and it's just extremely helpful. So definitely check out the new detailer cord snaps. Uh, I have that here on my online store and uh, you can purchase those there easily. And I do have them in stock right now, as well as all the other apparel, t-shirts, mugs, things like that uh, that we have. So thank you guys for watching. So thank you guys for joining us on another weekend watch. So thank you guys for joining us on another weekend watch. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, as always, put them down below. 
and definitely check out some of the products here that we use today. And if you're interested, then click up there. That goes to our uh, website, to a dedicated page where we have different products and tools that we use. And you can click on those pictures, lead you right to Amazon so you can purchase those products easily. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing and clicking that bell. That way you get notifications each time our videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. Thank you.